Good morning, y'all. It's Sunday morning. Um, I'm just redoing this video from September because I was looking at it and I saw that the sound was bad on it and it was really messed up. So I'm kind of just re-recording this, this answer for Truth to Lie Thursdays because I feel like it's, an, it's a very important question and I want to have record of it on video. So this question says, where was the first Bible actually presented? I was recently told from my professor that the Europeans brought the Bible over to Africa as well as Roman Catholics. <clears throat> so basically, does the Bible come from, from Europe? Uh, the answer is no, it does not. The Bible is basically a collection of inspired writings from prophets. Prophets that spoke for God through the Spirit of God. Now, God's first covenant I would not his first covenant, but his main covenant that he used to bring the Messiah was through the people of Israel, through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, because that's where the covenant came. Not because God didn't love everybody else, but because God had to start off with one family in order to bring the Messiah through the proper channels, through the right way. So all, all the books that we called the Bible are inspired by God and they come through a certain people and those are the Hebrew people, the people of Israel, the uh, family of Israel. Now, the family of Israel and the Israelites, they're not a perfect people. They definitely were punished for all their transgressions and sins, but God did choose to speak through messengers from that nation. Um, and so, there was a, t a time period where God spoke through prophets from Israel. Then there was a time, if you look at the end of Malachi, there's a time when he said the, the earth shall be sm smited with a curse. And then through that time period, God was no longer speaking through any prophets uh, from Israel. So there was a short time period where the Bible says that, you know, there will be a famine from hearing the word of the Lord. Okay. Then a few hundred years went by, and then um, you see in Titus, there's a scripture that says, in the former days he spoke through us through his prophets, now he speaks to us through his son. Okay, so then the Messiah actually came, and then all the other books from there, from there on afterward are books about the Messiah. And so they're books about Jesus Christ, Yeshua, the Savior. And... And then you see the apostles of Jesus Christ, they were writing the books because they were spoke because God was speaking through his son and he was speaking through apostles that that were witnesses of his son, right? And then you see the last scripture um where the apostle John had the revelation of Jesus Christ, the final basically the climax of, of revelation of God where everything was revealed from the begin from the, to the end. And then the scripture stopped. So basically God stopped, not that he stopped speaking, but he stopped with scriptural, uh, scriptural authority. Um, so a lot of times you see apocryphal books, you see books that came from the Roman empire. You see books that came from, uh, you know, the Greco Roman culture after Rome destroyed, uh, after Rome destroyed Jerusalem, you see a lot of books that came from that. Um, you see books that are written after Malachi and before Matthew that were written between uh, the time when God basically said he stopped speaking. And a lot of the books in the Apocrypha are basically those books. Um, so those are not considered authoritative scriptural books. Now, they're good for history. They may be good for some perspective, if they're true or not. Um, but... You can see how people thought back in those days. You may be able to get some wisdom from them, but they are not considered scripture. So the Bible did not come from Europe. It did not come from any European cultures. It did not come from the Roman Empire. A lot of those extra books are really just that. They're just extra books, maybe some historical information, some background. But the Bible is a book um, where God speaks through man. And a lot of these extra books are not basically not, not about that. Um, so yeah, so to answer your basic your question, basically, Europeans had nothing to do with recording the Bible or bringing it to Africa. Uh, Europeans, they had a role in translating the Bible, 
and spreading it to different languages, definitely, because after Paul preached the gospel all over Europe, certain Europeans became saved, and the gospel started to spread throughout Europe, and God used many Europeans in the Reformation for sp spreading the gospel, but um, the Roman Catholics had nothing to do with, with the true gospel of the Word of God, so you don't have to worry about those extra books that you know they have, or any books that were written between Malachi and, and, and Matthew, and <clears throat> definitely not any books that were written after the destruction of Jerusalem in 70 AD, unless they were written by um, an actual apostle of God. So there's a lot of fake books out there you want to you want to be careful of, but if you have the Holy Spirit, you can pretty much know what the Bible, what's uh, what should be in the Bible and what shouldn't be. So I hope that answers your question. Peace.